What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we are going to talk about the country code for your next racket. So, without further ado, let's get it started. If you own a Yonex racket, you would probably notice that the racket comes with a code engraved onto the cone. The code normally consists of 6 digits and 2 letters at the end. The 2 letters at the end of the code represents the country of distribution. This code often carry different prices and arguably minor differences. There are a lot of sources out there that said JP or Japan coded rackets are of the best qualities in terms of paint job and some said there is a difference in handling and feel of the racket. This is why JP coded rackets carry a slightly higher price compared to other country codes. I have yet to make a comparison on it but I will definitely do it in the future video. Here are some of the lists of the country code made by Yonex for distribution purposes. Now let's go through some of the examples of the code. First off is this UK coded racket. This racket was meant to be distributed for the UK market. Not much to see here, it comes with the original Yonex sticker. Up next is the JP code. Now, JP code are favorable among collectors for the reasons I mentioned before. This is an old model of JP coded rackets, hence the 3 U specs are not engraved onto the racket unlike the latest model. Next, we have this SP coded racket, the most common one in Southeast region. It comes with this PBSI logo, which is most probably because it endorsed by Yonex, other than to ensure its quality and genuine SP products. Next, we have the FR coded racket. This one is meant to be distributed for France. There's only the Yonex sticker other than the code and specs as you can see. Up next is a rather special IP code. It is believed that IP stands for international player and it's typically quite rare for shops to sell this racket code. It is also believed that most of the international level player use this IP coded racket. Similar to the JP coded ones, this tends to carry higher value and favorable among collectors out there. Finally, the ultimate code among the racket collectors, the 0MA code. This code is specially designated for Li Cheng Wei and Tan Bung Hyong of Malaysia. It is safe to say that you will never find this code for sale as it is incredibly rare and it is a player issued item. Very special indeed. What are your thoughts about the codes? Share it in the comment section down below. 
As usual guys, do like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to our channel to help grow the badminton community. That is all for now, I will see you in the next one.